Okay, I'm, I'm going to have a part two just because I want to show you how you use this equation. So the physical pendulum, um, the period of a physical pendulum, we ended up with that the period of a physical pendulum is um, equal to 2 pi all over the square root of I divided by MGD. And um, this is only for small angles. In fact, it's an approximation. But um, let's let's talk about all these all all these things. And two pi is just a constant. I is the rotational inertia of the object about its about its axis so like if this were the eye you'd want what that eye would be about this axis the one that is, it's going around so that's what that is and you a lot of times use the parallel axis theorem for that um, the m is the mass of the entire thing g is the constant 9.8 meters per second squared if you're on earth and d is the distance d is the distance between axis, the axis, distance between the axis and the center of mass. So let me just show you how this works then. Um, let's say that we um, take a, a solid disk. I'm going to take a solid disk. So this is solid. And I'm going to um, go, this is the center of it. And I'm going to put a, drill a hole through it right here. If this is R, we're drilling a hole at um, R over two away from the center, R over two away. And we're gonna suspend this thing and we're gonna, it's gonna swing back and forth. So G will be downward. It's gonna, this, is, this will be the axis whoomp, that goes um, this way whoomp, into, into, the, into the page. And so it's going to just swing back and forth uh, with a tiny swing. Let me calculate the period of this thing as it swings back and forth as long as theta is small. So the period is going to be, uh, first of all, we need to get the I. So now the I for, um, if this is a solid disk, the I for the disk um, at through the center of mass, if you look on your, your in your table, it's one half m r squared. M times r squared. Oh, by the way, this has a mass m. So it's one half m r squared. Now, but we don't want to use the I through the center of mass. We have to use the I through the point uh, through the axis. So let's use the parallel axis theorem. Aren't those parallel? This axis. This axis and this axis, those are parallel. Can you imagine two two lines coming out of here being parallel? So I parallel is equal to I through the center of mass plus just a term M, the mass of the thing, times the distance between the two axes squared. So um, let's, let's do that. I parallel is equal to I through the center of mass, which is um, 1 half M R squared. That's this guy. So that's that term, plus um, the mass of the whole thing times this distance squared. Well, that's r over 2 squared. Okay, let's just simplify this a little bit. This is going to be 1 fourth m r squared, and that's 1 half m r squared. So I'm thinking that's 3 quarters m r squared. That's what the i is. Um, about that axis. Okay, now I'm good to go. Get another sheet of paper and say that I or the period rather of this thing going back and forth is going to be 2 pi times the square root of I but I is 3 fourths m r squared divided by 
And then our equation tells us what you do is you take, uh, you divide that by MGD. So that would be the mass of the thing times G times D. Now D is the distance between the axis. D is the distance between the axis and the center of mass. So I'm thinking that that is, um, here's the axis and here's the center of mass. So D is R over 2 again. So the period of this thing is going to be 2 pi. Let's see, the masses cancel. One of the R's cancels. That 2 can come all the way up to the top, and that's going to give me 6 over 4, so that's, um, that's where we can cancel out. So that's going to give me 6 over 4. So that's 3 halves, isn't it? I'm saying that's what the period will be. Okay. Hey, um, I want to show you one other thing before I let you go. And that is, um, is that a simple pendulum... We can, use the, we can use the equation for a physical pendulum. It will work for a simple pendulum. Let me show you how. The period is um, 2 pi times the square root of i over mgd. Okay, now the i for this is just, uh, let's call this L and this m. The i for this is just m times L squared. So it's m times l squared. That's what i is about this axis. We're assuming this has no mass. It's all right here. Okay, and then I'm going to divide that by m, g, and then the, dis the distance d is the distance between the axis and the center of mass. So that would just be l again. So boom, 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 boom. And we get that the period of a pendulum using our physical pendulum equation is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. All right. Get some sleep.